I'm not doing that whole um, space. I'm leaving that little space there. Eventually, that will fade behind when we when we add highlights and then we add some darker colors and we add the apricot over it again. So that will make that pop out a little bit more. Okay. Now here on the chin and the cheek and, and the neck, we've got those areas where we had the, um, the red. Go over that. It's not going to completely disappear. And see, I'm not going all the way out to the edge. Okay, so you do that first with the white. Then you go with your apricot color. Same thing. You're going to dry it up a little bit. And then you're going to go on the edges and move in. Okay, so so now you don't see that edge as, as sharp as it was. Okay, it fades into the back. And this could take hours and hours and all day long. In fact, I'd like you to take as much time and be as careful as you can with it. Because again, this is the face. We're not doing a wing or a robe or, you know, the hair. If you get too, you know, wound up in this and you want to take a break, your back is hurting or, or your eyes are going cross, get up, walk away, come back and maybe do a little on the hair or, or add some pearls or some highlights in the robe. Okay? But I want you to take your time. I want you to go slowly because this is important. Okay? Um, so let's see. Then, after you do, and again, I'm not, I'm not done by any means. So I've left you plenty to do. <laughs> You're going to take that um, original Santier color and mix up a thick, you know, pretty thick consistency. The same is so white. If you just did oh the same consistency yeah, okay. yeah yeah and um, now see these areas here along the side are not can be darker and they also can be um, more solid not so patchy okay so you can with that with that brush feather from the edges in. Okay. Now going back and forth and back and forth and taking your time. So I'll let that dry. Then I might take that apricot color and go back into the the green. Or I might take the white and come back into the apricot. So you just keep going back and forth. It it will over time blend so it it just forms a smooth transition. Mm -hmm. Okay? Is there going to be a wash of the No. No. This is the final. No, it's not final, oh, okay. but it, but it's getting to final. Okay. We're not going to do a wash over the whole thing like we did with the April. Okay. We're not going to do that again. Okay. So now it's just, just uh, um, taking your brush and, and very gently adding the darker areas, adding the lighter areas. And, and it will make what you have underneath there a little smoother and a little more uh, dark if it needs to be, or light if it needs to be. Okay. So it, it takes time. You're, you're doing it over and over again. Another technique is, say, right in here, I've, I've got pretty much what I want, but I want to get rid of these maybe sharper lines. Um, just 
wash your brush out, dry it out, and then just take some egg emulsion. And it, it might be good to just pour egg emulsion in one of your little cups. And then just with an egg wet brush, you're going to go, and that kind of helps to, to move what you have there before and to, to fuzzy it up a little bit and get rid of the... Which one did you do? Yeah, it helps to just use the egg emulsion, but it's, it's a very light, light touch. So um, when you're using the egg emulsion, the paint is um, wet or dry? It's a little wet. A little wet, okay. Yeah. But e even if it's dry, sometimes that egg emulsion will mm -hmm. go down there and it, it will loosen it up to move around. So like right in here, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't necessarily like what I did there. I want to smooth out those those lines. So I'll maybe take a damp brush with the egg emulsion. I'll go in with my um, apricot color. Now I'm getting towards the center of my um, my neck. I can go over that white with the apricot. That also tones it down. See, so that that little spot there of the red will will go back into the background, little oh, by yeah. little. What's that? It, it's the kind of yeah. Yeah, we're covering it up. So so he won't have that big red blotch there, you know. And even right now, if I go in with the white and go over that. In fact, it's probably what you should do right here. Mm -hmm. Just start from the... And that's why you, you kind of want it, that red, to be a little dark in the beginning, because it, it's if if it's too light, it'll completely disappear, and you might have to add it in later, you know, mm -hmm. or add in maybe a little more red in your apricot color to to make it the pure white line. Yeah. Okay. okay. And the So back and forth, back and forth. Take your time. And again, if if you happen to make a mistake, even at this stage, it's fixable. going over that again. Okay. It's kind of petrified. Yeah. <laughs> but don't I mean, you know, remember that, that it can be it can be fixed. But the important thing is that you take your time and and you you don't rush through this. And if you need to get up and, and walk away, get up and walk away. Now, I, I didn't mention yesterday, you cannot have, evil, evil does not exist unless you have good. Otherwise, everything is all the same. You know, it's all, either all good or all evil. So, the the dark dark lines and the dark shadowy areas are to remind you that
that there is good and evil. So I'm kind of smoothing out those those darker areas. And uh, remember up here in the eyelids. back and move it out again with a little of the apricot. Okay? So that's, that's uh, pretty much what we're going to be doing with the face. Now there's um, some um, highlights and stuff on the robes and if it looks like maybe um, in about an hour I'll show some of that. But I want you to start start on your faces and get to working on that.